Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel, The Artificial Trainer here. Here to talk to you about the new best face swapping method that is out right now. Vase made it possible, we can finally get away from all those reactor faces you see all over social media with just the smoothed out face that looks exactly the same every time. Now we can incorporate facial hair, different colored eyes, all that kind of thing. And Vase made that all possible. So head over to my Patreon, grab the workflow and bring it right into ComfyUI. If you have not used Vase before or even ComfyUI, I've got a ton of tutorials on my channel. Please go check them out. There's a Wand 2.1 tutorial, which you'll need as background for this. And there's a vase tutorial that you'll need as background for this. And I'll link both in the description below. So grab that workflow and bring it into Comfy UI. Okay, so first thing you'll need is your video. Upload it into the video loader here. And then we're going to turn all the groups off except for the video loader to start. And then we're going to turn on InPaint first frame and get first frame. So these two, actually let's turn off in paint first frame first and then just hit control enter. That'll give you your first frame in your video. Save that off and then we can turn the in paint section on. Okay, so the in paint section is gonna use flux fill to replace the face. So the first thing we need to do, if you don't have torch compile or sage attention installed, just bypass this whole group like that. It's not gonna make a huge difference. I get a ton of questions on this all the time. Just bypass it if you wanna get it working. If you really, really wanna get Torch Compile and Sage Attention working, head over to the Discord. I'm not gonna be able to help you in the YouTube comments for how to install those. Okay, so now we have to mask our image. So we wanna replace the face. So we're going to mask it out and then save that. Okay, and then I'm gonna, give this lady a dark brown mustache. All right, so let's run it. All right, now we have our beautiful new bearded man lady. Okay, so let's save that image off and let's turn off our in painting. Um, and if you do want to use, if you have like a specific subject that you wanna use, you can, you can in paint with pull ID, or a Flux Laura, that's the best way to do it, in my opinion. Flux Lauras, I know that people don't wanna go through the burden of training Flux Lauras, but I do have some videos on my channel about that to get you started. Okay, so now that we have our impainted image, we're gonna run it through the vase sampling. Okay, so let's turn off our impainting and turn on the model loader, you don't need comparison, but I think it's kind of cool to see the comparison. Input video, reference image, and SAM2 masking. Like I said, if you don't have WAN already set up, go there first, learn about how to do, how to set up WAN and vase, and then come back to this workflow. So block swap, you can turn on, it doesn't work when block swaps are zero. So if you're just gonna use zero, then turn that off. And Torch Compile, if you don't have Triton working, you'll have to turn that off. Okay, so now let's head down to our reference image section. So drag in your impainted image here, and then drag in your impainted image into the SAM2 masking section. Okay, so this section is gonna allow us to mask out the face of the video. So the way this works here, I'll start a new canvas. The way this works is you put green dots where you want, where you do want the mask and put red dots where you don't. So shift left click gives you green points. Shift right click gives you red points. Okay, so I'm not gonna modify the hair. I just wanna modify the face. So that should give me a pretty good mask. And that's it. We already have our input video in. We have our first frame image in and we have our masking in. So from there, we should just be able to run it. So there's our mask, pretty clean. And it's gonna run through the vase sampling. All right, so I mean, really, really cool generation, right? You could never get something like this from Reactor. You could never get this level of likeness and detail. I mean, even you even get the forehead wrinkles here. So this is, I mean, this is a revolutionary technology in face swapping. 
Um, you may notice that there's no prompt for this. I find that if you prompt, it actually kind of takes too much of the prompt. So if you're using a reference image that the pose matches exactly, just leave no prompt and let the reference image do all the talking, okay? So that is it for this video, really simple. The art of it is gonna be, you know, getting your character into this first frame correctly. But after you do that, I mean, you're gonna be able to generate five second videos really quickly with completely different faces whenever you want. And you can even take this further, like if I had wanted to change the hair color as well, you could have just moved these red dots out, add in a couple green dots on the hair, and then you'd be able to replace the hair and the face. So really cool workflow. It's amazing what Vase is allowing us to do. If you like this workflow, follow my socials, subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more about Vase coming out and I always have the latest models and the latest new workflows for the models, probably before anyone else out there. Uh, follow my socials, it really helps me out if you follow me in other places. I appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you again in the next one.